Hello, 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 and welcome to part three of Let's Play Wild Arms. In this episode, we are going to the last character introduction in Current Abbey. Oh, innocent one, you can feel my mind in yours. Okay, enough of the goofy voice. Me? Are you calling me? It's dark in here. I can't see. Oh, well, let me just turn on all these lights for you then. Take my wishes to your heart, innocent one. Tell me your name. We will again be bound by the ancient contract. Again? This happened before? Who are you? I'm not the one you want. Hurry. Tell me your name. Once again, the world is being engulfed by a darkness. Tell me your name. My name is... Default. Just kidding, it's Cecilia. Girl, Cecilia, let go of your ego. The power is in the book. I know a guy looking for one of those. Power, that is. Whoa! Who are you? Cecilia. Cecilia. Cecilia, the innocent one. Cecilia. 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 Cecilia, the class is over. Huh? What happened? Aren't you turning 17 today? Whoa, you're right. Thanks for reminding me of things I should know. You need to work on not being so spaced out. How does 17 have anything to do with not being so spaced out? I ask you. Aren't you supposed to go back to Adelheid when you turn 17? Oh, like we haven't talked about this for years. I worry about the future if our princess has mental problems. <laughs> Whoa! Jesus Christ. Gee, you guys are being really nice to me today. You're going back to Adelheid soon, aren't you? You should say farewell to everyone. Stop saying I should go back to Adelheid soon, okay? We've talked about it. Yeah, I need to do that. W what are you doing? Are you done yet? Screw you, girl. Stop procrastinating. Get going. Everyone will appreciate your visit. Okay, well, I'm not saying bye to you two assholes. Hey, lady. The teardrop crystal is very beautiful. It is supposed to have special powers hidden inside. Oh, cool. Sister Mary. Cecilia. <laughs> You're almost ready to leave the Abbey. I don't know what this accent is. Just go with it. Your life from here on, uh, or here on is going to be a journey. You must be cautious. Sure. I'll remember that for future episodes. You're coming back again, Sister Mary. Who's up in this classroom? Hey yo! Lila may talk a lot, but she also listens a lot. Oh, that's a good skill. Not many people have that. A book entitled Fulgaya. Do you want to read it? Yeah. No one has been able to stop the degeneration of Fulgaya. Well, that was a short-ass book. It's degenerating, huh? Let's go to the other side of the building. Oh, hello. Oh, you got a big-ass mess. Cecilia, good timing. I know you'll help me out. I was sorting the books, but I ended up making a mess. You're really bad at sorting books, Jesus. I'm terrible at this. Uh-huh. Angie? Angie? 
Yeah, let's go with Angie. Angie the Magician has a magic pocket watch. Please, Cecilia, get the watch from Angie and help me clean the library. The watch will reverse time and put all the books back on the shelves. <sighs> you need to be fired. A book entitled Ancient Civilization. Ooh, what's in this book? There are advanced machines found all over Filgaia. Many of them are weapons. Scientists refer to them as arms. Ancient relic machines. <laughs> arms. Arms and relics of ancient battles have been excavated from the same layer of soil. Mm. A book entitled The History of Filgaia. Sure, let's read it. About a thousand years ago, a race of metal demons tore through Filgaia. The Guardians, the Ewes, and the Humans won the war at a considerable cost. After the Guardians lost their strength, the land could not maintain its life force. The weak faded away. The eel disappeared, never to be seen again. Yikes. Hello. The Blue Crest, Geo, Defense and Creation, the Power of Earth. The Red Crest, Frey, Attack and Destruction, the Power of Fire. The White Crest, Wing, Change and Prosperity, the Power of Wind. The Black Crest, Muse, Adjustment and Growth, the Power of Water. Ah, don't talk to me, I've got to memorize this stuff! Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. A book entitled Basic Magic. Ooh, basic bitches. Spells are created by binding two elemental crests into a crest graph. Nice. The forces of two elements create a spell. You can bind the spell to a crest graph. Here, take my crest graph. This is my gift to you. Use this at the magic guild to create your own spells using what you've learned. Nice! Thank you. I love those. I'll eat them up. Nom, 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 nom. Let's go! Hey, I'm leaving today. Magic must be approached with a pure heart and clear mind. Oh, thanks. I'll miss you too. Hey, the head chef, Jacques, has worked at the Abbey the longest. He must know a lot about the Abbey. Oh, is it this guy? Hey, Jacques. You, it's not dinner time yet. Oh, so I'm sorry. I'm leaving. I'm out. Except I've got a pilfer from your barrels. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah, boys. Mystic Apple. Ooh. Hi, Cecilia. The meal's not ready yet. Oh, <laughs> I must be famous around here. She a, uh, a gourmand like me? Good timing. Please take a look. Oh, hey, Angie. I've been looking for you. What's this? A rock thing. This is the Guardian Stone. It responds to the power of the Guardians. According to my studies, the teardrop has some connection to them. Push the tools button near the desk and use the teardrop. The Guardian Stone should respond. If you do this for me, I shall give you my pocket watch. <laughs> that sounds like extortion. No, we're fine. We're fine, right Angie? We're fine. Just as I thought, there is a definite reaction. Your teardrop crystal and the guardians are linked in some way. The teardrop is the secret treasure of the Adelheid family. That's why the stone glowed. This will help so much in furthering my research. You can have my pocket watch. It's very useful. It's super effective. Pocket watch acquired. Nice. Thanks, Angie. By using the pocket watch, you can go back in time. You can reconstruct both. Boxes. Broken boxes and reset objects that are stuck in place. It may not always be effective, but its magic is worth repeating. Nice. Don't mind if I do. I'm just gonna continue saying bye to everyone before I go back to that messy girl. Lila? Oh, she's sick from something she ate the other day. If you're tired, you're welcome to take one of those beds, Cecilia. Nah, I'm good. Don't push yourself. Okay. Ah, Cecilia, you eat so much. You've gotten to be known as the glutton woman. The great mage of... Ouch! I am the glutton woman. 20 gala required. I feel connected to Cecilia this way. If I could eat more food, I would. Every day. Heelberries, nice. 
Hey, this is the magic guild. You can assemble simple magic. Try it. Don't mind if I do. What have I got already? Recover. Okay, so that's my heal spell. And I've got fire. Earth. Let's get ice. Alright, we're binding it to your crestgraph. Woo! Please rename this spell. No! Its name is Freeze, and it shall remain Freeze. Thanks. Anything else? No. Bye. Hey yo. In the current abbey, the guardians are the center of worship. I'm here to learn magic, not to worship the guardians. Aren't you? I don't know. What am I here for? Why are the statues in the courtyard facing away from each other? <laughs> That's kind of lame, isn't it? You've studied hard. You are a full magician. Full magician at 17. Am I in... Ho a Hogwarts story here? Hey girl, hey! So that's Angie's watch. Please use it to fix up this mess. I'll go over to Sister Mary... Sister Mary! And make up some excuses. I'll be right back. Cecilia, I'm counting on you, okay? This was your fault! I hate to use magic for a purpose like this, but... I'm gonna do it anyway. Wow, this thing really works! Huh? There's one book still left on the floor. Let's read it. Uh-oh. Oh no, don't read it. Innocent one, release. Let go of your ego. I am trapped within the sealed library. A book spoke to me, the same voice as in the dream. What is the sealed library? I wonder if it's located somewhere in the abbey. Well, I know who to ask, but I'm gonna pretend that I already talked to him and that I went to investigate these weird ass statues. Oh, can I not? Oh, I guess I do have to go talk to him. Or talk to somebody. Let's keep talking. Hello. You've studied- oh yeah, I already talked to you. Why are the statues facing away from each other? You. <laughs> In the current enemy, the guardian of the center of worship? No, 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 it's not you. Let's go back uh, this way. Okay, let's go talk to Jacques then. You. What? Someone... Okay. Oh, when you turn 17, you'll be going back home. We'll miss you, Cecilia. You and your appetite. Yeah, I bet you will. I guess I have to go talk to Sister Mary. <laughs> it's gonna be ridiculous. I'm so bad. I don't even know where this accent came from, what it's supposed to be, but it's shit, and I love it. Cecilia, thanks for your help. Hey, lady. Hey, hey, listen. So, a book is calling you to the sealed library. Yes, it's not a dream. A shadow spoke to me and asked me to release him from the book. Sister Mary, I thought you might know. A book which speaks, and a large shadow. A library in which many forbidden secrets are stored does not exist. Oh, it does exist. So, sorry, Cecilia, I, I misspoke. Where the sealed library is, that I cannot tell you. You were summoned by the guardians to search for the sealed library. If you are the chosen one, you must do this on your own. God, I knew I didn't like her. Sealed library? Rather than asking one of the students, you should ask Sister... M we're not going to talk about her. There is something strange about the courtyard. For some, the two statues become as light as a feather. For others, they are as heavy as a mountain. Something about those statues is real spooky. Is someone gonna tell me to push the buttons? I don't know about any sealed library, but I do know that the two statues in the courtyard have secret switches. Bingo! I wanna push them so bad! Don't worry, I got you. Push. Yeah, push it. Yeah, push it. Push, push, push. 
push, 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 Whoa. Spoopy. I am the eternal darkness. Come to me, innocent one. Bring me your inner light. <laughs> okay, here we go. Box. Yeah, that's the stuff. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Bad book. I'm really handling the uh, floating book very well, if I must say so myself. If I must say so? If I do say so. And I do say it. She does not seem perturbed at all by flying books. Give me your treasures. Nom 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 berries. Uh oh. The three books act as a door. They are called the books of doors. The key is the flame. Open the door and light the path. You got it. Let's read these though. Oh, no, I don't want to read that. Let's read the commandments in order. Commandment one. <clears throat> Knowledge can be a guide or an obstacle, depending on how you handle it. Oh, that's pretty true of real life right now. Commandment two. Knowledge has true power when it is needed. Sometimes, though, it is more important to act on intuition. Okay, okay, okay. Commandment three, what is it? Too much knowledge can bind the viewer. There is never a moment when this should be forgotten. Uh, do excuse me, guys. I am reading all of these books. The Guardian of Desire. Let's read. Guardians, Ooze, and humans fought together to protect Filgaia. Of the Guardians, the Guardian of Desire sided with the demons. The shadow of a black wolf, the Guardian of Desire, disappeared with the demon race. Oh. The lifeline of the land. The life of Filgaia has been sustained by linking the weakened Guardians together through a pipeline called the Ray Line. This was a last-ditch effort of the weakened Guardians to support Filgaia to this day. Nice. The demon's heart. Together, the humans and the ewes were finally able to defeat the demon queen. The queen's heart was forever sealed into three separate guardian statues. Oh. Enigma of Ew. The en enigmatic ew race. Much of the ew magic has truly was truly astonishing. They specialized in magic related to biology. One of their technologies converted life force to energy for transport to other locations. Cool! The Guardian Blade. At the bloodiest point in the war, one Yu forged a sword of ultimate power. This sword had the ability to channel the Guardian's power through its blade. There is no record of the sword being used in battle, but it was about that time that the demons withdrew from the war. 
There is no doubt that the Guardian Blade was a major factor in the war. Ah! I'm reading! God! <gasps> Three books. Oh no. It's time to pull out the big guns. Set those books aflame. Book burning. Oh, that's right. Colorful nacho time. Wow! Oh god. Oh god. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Boom! Ow! Colorful nachos. Ow! Don't hit my... God damn it. Ma mage staff. Oh, I probably already have that equipped, don't I? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna nom some berries and maybe a mystic apple. Because I'm hungry. There is a book entitled The Eel Dimension. Soon after the war with the demon race, the Eels disappeared from Filgaia. They used what powers they had remaining and moved an island still teeming with life to another dimension. Their destination is known as the Eel Dimension. Okay. What is this? Kinds of magic. After many failures, the Magic Guild was able to organize the crest combinations into 32 secret spells. <gasps> Some continued the research to take magic even further. <clears throat> the use of magic, sure. It is normally impossible to cast two spells at once. The great mage D devised a method to cast two spells simultaneously. I'm sure we'll meet that guy someday. <laughs> the hidden magic. The basis for the elemental crest magic is the binding of two elements together to generate magic. There are 32 secret elemental spells kept by the magic guild that are more powerful than the normal spells available. We took- yeah, we read about that. Isn't that cool? The Arrival. Ooh, I saw that movie. The thousand poem legend prophesized the coming of Angle Moa. The demigod Angle Moa will arrive at a promised time to destroy and recreate all. He is known as the ultimate existence. <laughs> If you say so. By the way, I hope you're taking note of all of these entries because... I don't know, I get the feeling that they all might be relevant somehow. Oh, am I fighting with a book in hand? Are they coming back for their brethren? <laughs> don't kill Steve! He didn't do anything deserve a book burning. No, don't slow me down. No, stop it. Stop. No, please. Ah! I feel so much slower. That's right, book. I kill you. M another mage staff. What am I supposed to do with these? All right. Can I read with a book in hand? Oh, no, I can't. Go away. Kama. Ooh. During the Age of Creation, one woman had received a secret book from a heavenly messenger. The book contained information about the creation of the universe. It is said that it contains theories on alchemy and the ways of the heavens. Cool. The Rings of Time Space. Oh yeah. The Rings of Time Space contain a power that no human should ever possess. The Rings of Time Space are a seal that holds down the boundaries of time and space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ring consists of two alignment circles. One circle designates northwest, southwest, southeast, and northeast. Oh, did you write that down? I did. The other circle designates west, south, east, and north. Did you write that down too? Write that down. That's coming up later. I know it. The Esoteric Guardianism. There exists a secret sect of guardianists, guardianist, who worship the power of the guardians. 
these extremists believe in a complete return to nature, as opposed to the harmonized coexistence with nature taught by Curran Abbey. They left the safety of the common world to develop and instill their beliefs discreetly. Fanatics, huh? Oh, 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 more books, more books. The Forgotten Continent. The Ring of Grace has forgotten this land. Our continent will eventually end in warm desolation. Ugh. The Lost Guardians. In the ancient days, guardians represented basic human nature. There were three guardians who were in charge of higher energies beyond the four basic energies. These three guardians were in charge of those who lived their lives according to their energies. Okay. These were the courage guardian, who had the power of growth beyond oneself, the love guardian, who had the power to protect what is precious, and the hope guardian, who had the power to believe in the future. In the old days, these three energies existed in everyone's hearts. Now, people have forgotten the meaning of these energies. Do you write that down too? Write these down. This is why I'm reading all these books. For your notes. The new moon. Yeah, let's read it. The other moon that floats above the night sky shines its dull light down on the surface of Filgaia. Some say it's the castle of the demons and is made of magic silver. We have no way of knowing now. Mm. There is a book entitled The Hidden Powers. Each unassuming tool has a mystic power within it. This power can be brought out of the tools depending on the psychic abilities of the user. Cool, 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 cool. Book burn! <laughs> Here, burn some books. Oops, and throw some books. Oh no! They're coming back for revenge of their lost book brother. I'm gonna burn them. Burn them books. Burn, 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 burn. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Oh, yeah. That was satisfying. One of those colorful matches. Ow! I should have burnt that one. Can I counterattack? Cecilia? Yeah! Let's burn. Oops. Let's burn this last one. Yay! Level two. Ooh, take that. Take. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah. Then over here. Oh, right. Oh, 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 look at it. Her HP went up with her level. That's great. Battle magic. Use the different elements to enhance your power against the opponent's elements. Using fire against ice monsters, for example, will increase the effectiveness of your attack. Nice. Nature's might. The guardians sometimes use their power for earthquakes and lightning, but it is all part of the energy we need to sustain life on Fulgaia. There's a book entitled Ancient Human Weapons. The eight golems were built by humans a thousand years ago to fight off the invasion of the demon race. All but one still remains deep inside the ruins. A real study of these artifacts can only be done when all eight of the golems are excavated. Hmm, that seems important. The eels. In the realm of the eels, the powers of nature are used as magic. They live on the path of eternity. Oh. They have long, hairy ears, but their silhouettes are human. No one knows the reason why they left or where they have gone. I'm gonna need that later. We're not done reading. Oh no! Ah! Gagason. Who invited you? Where have you been? Ow, don't! Ow! No, please! No punches! Alright. Hmm. I'm gonna... I don't know. Let's try freezing them. Oh, 
No. <laughs> nope, I guess not. Let's, uh, let's set them on fire, too. That's gonna hurt. Whose job it is to dream up these monsters and who approves them. Like, look at this guy. Oh, he's ripped. He should not be able to float with those muscles. Reading. The body of the demons. The cold, hard bodies of the demons are made of metal. Their metal bodies, however, have most of the same traits of a biological entity. The ancient mages of the art of alchemy studied captive demons to learn from their technology. That is how we came to create the golems. Oh, okay, okay. The demon invasion. The demon race has technology that allows them to travel across time and space. They have also developed a device that utilizes this technology to instantly transport troops to a faraway location. <laughs> the demons' attacks seemed to use this strategy. That sounds terrifying. The emptiness of sand. The dead area called the Sand River was caused by a battle against the demon race a thousand years ago. The massive destructive powers drained the life from the entire area. Wow. The King of the Beasts. Since the war with the demons a thousand years ago, many monsters have been born all over Felgaia. Rago Ragla, the King of the Beasts, sleeps somewhere in Felgaia. That sounds important too. The Tree of Life. After the Great War, a huge magical machine was built to restore the land from the devastation. The machine was named Yggdrasil, after the tree in the legends. <laughs> Just copy-paste from Norse mythology, and done. The demons discovered the machine and stole the reviving mechanisms. Rather than use the mechanism to give birth to a new land, the demon's leader, Mother, used it to give birth to more demons. Yikes. Reach for the heavens. Is it because humans do not have wings that they constantly strive to reach the heavens? With science seemingly limitless, some people reached for the heavens from a massive tower dedicated to magic. Oh! Falling from the stars. Oh, the sequel. There once was a guardian who chased the tail of a falling star. He came crashing down to Fulgaia with the falling star. The guardian of the starlight. Gazuntite. Does he still sleep next to the fallen star somewhere in Fulgaia? Oh, I bet you he probably do. Magic carrot. Nice. Anything else down here? Nope. I'm gonna need to nom nom that magic carrot sometime soon. Disease? Ah! Oh, thank goodness. Don't disease me! Oh no! You guys are really bad at passing on disease. Oh, I spoke too soon! God! Take that, you knave! That's what you get for diseasing me. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's clean up poor little Cecilia here. Let's give you a carrot. Let's get you some medicine. And let's eat some berries. Now, good as new. Good as new. Burn that book. Alright, story time's over. Oh. There is a book entitled De Le Metallica. Do you want to read it? Sure. A magic seal prevents it from opening. Did you take note of that? 
Did you write it down? Remember this moment. It might come up later. What about this book? The Guardians. No one really knows who the Guardians are. The only place one can see them is in the legends. I beg to differ. There's one right there. <gasps> Never mind! Psych! Ah! Oh my god, you're terrifying. The book monster. A human who wants to touch the forbidden book? I shall grant your wish and make you a part of my story. You're not the shadow that calls me, are you? Or, you're not the shadow that calls me, are you? Daughter of the way of magic. <laughs> Become my flesh and blood inside the Forbidden Book! Oh, are you gonna possess me, dude? Because I do not consent. Oh, let's see, is Freeze your jam? Yeah, it's okay. Brutal attack. Ah! Oh! <laughs> let's try Free, or Flame. Is Flame your jam? Don't brutal attack me! I'm like an eighth of your size. Cool hair, dude. Oh, okay. Either works. He doesn't care one or the other. Ow. Let's just alternate, why don't we? No, please! Ow! Ouch. Mystic? Oh no, we don't want to mystic anything yet. That's just a waste of time. Another berry. Oh, that was close. That was close. That would have been embarrassing. Could you imagine dying on your first playthrough this early in the game? That's definitely not happened yet. Definitely not happened yet. That's right, brutal. Beast boy who's what's happening to your mouth? Take that. Yay! Oh, level three Cecilia. She's flexing over here. What's this? What's this? Hey, the shadow figure from my dream. I am Stoldark, the guardian of the water. For ages, the demon Nilgal has locked me in this terrible book. Oh, that dude. I have waited a long time for the innocent one who would receive the guardian spirit. The innocent one? Me? The world is at the turning point of darkness again. Innocent one. Can you hear the anger of the land and the wind? The screams of the sea and the sky? Ah. Uh, uh, um. Wear me as your armor, innocent one. I shall protect you in your fight for life. The battle for Felgaia begins again. Everything begins with Lolithia. You mean the person that we're not supposed to go looking for? Yoink. Water rune acquired. Nice. Lulithia. What does that mean? Whoa! I do not consent. <gasps> Welcome back, Cecilia. Now you realize the responsibilities of the women in a the Adelheid family. The female descendants of the Adelheid family share their thoughts with the guardians. I don't know what I'm doing anymore with this voice. 
They must carry the burden of their destiny with them for the rest of their lives. No one can understand the pain and pressure which you must endure, but they can help you cope with it and make your life easier. Cecilia, there are the... Blank, 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 blank. The burden one's destiny brings. Walk proudly from the Abbey. You must travel your own path from now on. Okay, bye! Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I gotta, I gotta go upstairs and do a thing for a second. Could you turn your back, please? Thanks. You're a sweetheart, darling. Thank you. Okay, here we go. The guardians from the legend have spoken only to her. Without a sound, the wheels of destiny have started to turn. The path she followed in the past was guided by her surroundings. She knew someday she would have to pave her own path to the future. The innocent one who the guardians speak of. It may be too heavy of a burden to be the sorceress of the ultimate power at such a young age. And that's it for all the character introductions. I will see you in the next episode where we bring everyone together.